everyone! Today we will be taking a look at another manga written by Miho Obana, known as Partner. Obana is primarily known for Kadocha and the Honey Bitter manga series. With it having a much darker tone than Obana's previous works, Partner acts as the black sheep of her manga catalog in Ribbon Magazine, where it was originally featured. I want to discuss and analyze this manga, as it is definitely a hidden gem within the shoujo genre. This manga heavily deviates from stereotypical shoujo manga tropes, and is an amazing blend of romance, horror, and suspense. This video will partially serve as a review for those who are interested in reading the series. However, I would also like to dedicate a portion of this video to analyzing the story and characters, so please use the timestamps in the description below if you want to avoid any spoilers. Also, before we dive in, I would like to add a trigger warning to the video, as Partner is filled with many heavy topics. Now, let's jump into our discussion of Partner. Partner is a story about a pair of twin girls and a pair of twin boys who are close friends in high school. Our main character featured on the cover of Volume 1 is named Nay, whose sister named Mo is dating one of the twin brothers named Ken, much to Nay's dismay. Ken's twin brother Takeshi has a crush on Nay, who is very disinterested in him romantically. In the first chapter of the manga, Nay and Mo get into an argument regarding Ken. To make up with Mo, Nay goes and buys a necklace with a cross to give to her. However, the situation that happens afterwards is absolutely devastating and begins the series of unfortunate events that plays out until the very end of the series. If you've heard of this manga, it's likely that you came across it as a fan of Kadocha, since it's also written by Miho Obana. While the tone and story are vastly different from Kadocha's, I would still recommend this to any fan of that series. The great writing and character development from Kadocha also exists in Partner. The main difference between Partner and Kadocha, like I said before, is the tone, with Partner being much darker and even gruesome at times. If I had to label it, I would say Partner is a horror shoujo manga with sci-fi elements. However, there is a little bit of everything in this manga, which is part of its charm. The budding romance between Nei and Takeshi is a joy to read, and there are some funny moments in between the doom and gloom of the main story. While reading this manga, there is never a dull moment, and there were a few times when I was completely caught off guard. Also, I would like to mention that I personally don't get scared easily, but there were moments in Partner where I could feel my skin crawl and a chill go through my body. Some of the scenes are so dark and twisted that I had to take some time away from reading it to absorb it all. Even so, I still ended up binging the series in less than a day because it had me absolutely hooked. Before jumping into the core elements of this manga, I did want to say that the art style and character designs are great. While they aren't as memorable as the characters of Kadocha, I personally love the way Obana draws her characters. My favorite thing about this style is how much emotion we can see within the characters' eyes without them having to say a word. This is definitely one of Obana's strengths as a mangaka, and one of the reasons her characters are so compelling. Speaking of the characters, I felt that each one was interesting to learn about going through the series. There isn't really any in-depth backstory to all of them, but we get just enough information about them that makes them interesting. All of the twins were interesting to learn about, and I was intrigued to see their transformations during the series, good and bad. A character introduced in a later chapter known as The Professor acts as the central figure for the events that play out in the story. Beyond the twins, I thought that he was the most interesting character who harbored a disturbing obsession that led to the discovery of a world-changing substance, which I will discuss more in the analysis part of the video. Each character develops in their own unique way, which allows readers to grow very attached to them. By the end of some of the character arcs, I was in tears as I had witnessed them come to an end of a very painful cycle of suffering and confusion. Not all of the characters in the story have a happy ending. It really adds to the dark and ominous tone of the story and the gripping anticipation you have as you hope for the best for each of the main characters. Moving on to the story, it was one of the most unique and thought-provoking I've ever read. It went in so many directions I didn't expect, and the overall feeling while reading it was very cinematic. It felt like it could have been a big blockbuster movie. Putting average high schoolers into the threatening and terrifying situations they were in made the story feel larger than life, and each new layer being pulled back to reveal another twist only made me want to go further into the madness. As our main characters uncover the experiments and secrets of the professor, the stakes grew higher when it came to their fates. 
Overall, I think fans of any genre will enjoy the story, as it offers an unrivaled mix of everything, and exceeds at all of it. In this next portion of the video, I will be discussing spoilers, so please use the timestamps on the screen if you don't want any spoilers, and we're just here for my brief review. After Nay gets the necklace for her sister Mo, she finds out the devastating news that she had died in a car accident. Shortly after seeing her corpse in the hospital, it suddenly goes missing without explanation. Within the area, corpses had gone missing without a trace and no culprit had been found, so everyone assumed that Mo had just become another victim of these body snatchers. Due to the loss of Mo, Nay, as well as Ken and Takeshi, are having difficulties coming to terms with reality. Ken especially is in a deep depression, having difficulties with eating and socializing. For fun, the three decide to join a friend at his uncle's mansion by the sea for a getaway. This is when they discover a girl on the street who looks just like Mo. When going to grab her arm, Ken and the others are horrified when it rips right off her body. The three of them try to follow as she escapes in a vehicle with others, and this is when the true horror of what is really going on begins to unfold, once they reach the facility where Mo was being kept. Because the trio had seen Mo, they were taken into the lab and remained there indefinitely. As they are being taken into the lab, we are introduced to the central figure of the story, the Professor, who hides his true identity by using a symbol on the screens throughout the building. While they quote-unquote meet with the Professor, he explains to them that Mo is a part of experiments known as living stuffed people, who are basically living corpses, as they are given new organs that are still functional for living. The ultimate goal of the Professor is to bring the dead back to life, and at this point in the story, it's unclear what his motivation to do so is. Immediately after this confrontation, the trio is horrified, but they are sent to a holding cell with escape seemingly impossible. The living stuffed people don't have the memories of their life intact, so Mo is unfamiliar with her sister and the twin boys at first. There are three other LSPs in the facility who seem to be fully functional, quote-unquote human beings, until it's revealed that they can infect people with a disease known as the mold virus, which can unalive them instantly. The youngest LSP gets the mold virus and has to be destroyed by one of the other workers of the facility, who happens to be his father. It's a heart-wrenching scene that conveys just how messed up the LSP experiments can be on so many different levels. After this, Ken's mental stability begins to decline as he learns more and more about the LSPs and develops an attachment to Mo again in her new form. As the two grow closer, Mo asks Ken to come with her so she can reveal her secret to him, the secret being that she has a child. From the professor, we find out that the child was a result of breeding Mo with the older male LSP. Horrified by all this, Ken vomits and spirals even further into madness, which leads to his self-inflicted death alongside Mo on a motorbike later in the story. Nay and Takeshi soon learn about what has happened to Ken, and he too is turned into an LSP. The grief is crippling to the two protagonists, but motivates them even more to find a way out of the facility and to expose the corruption going on inside of it. During this time, when Ken and Mo are growing closer, we also get to see the real professor's identity. He has a very alluring, feminine appearance. While Nay is searching for a way out through the vent system, she sees the professor speaking with another man and takes note on how he sounds very gentle when speaking. Nay falls through the vent and into the room after the other man leaves, when the professor and Mo are still there. Takeshi comes to her rescue when he retaliates against the professor and is shot down by security. Thinking Takeshi is dying, Nay begs the professor to save him. Shockingly, Takeshi remains alive and is able to recover, and that is when the plan to escape the facility comes together with the help from the man who had to destroy his own son who was an LSP. The plan is to destroy the entire facility by making it self-destruct, so in an intense race against time, Nei and Takeshi, as well as the others, execute a plan and escape the facility. During the escape, Nei and Takeshi encounter the Professor and Noguchi, who acted as a prison warden for most of the series. It's revealed during this scene that Noguchi was very close to the Professor's sister, who was his twin. The Professor had an intense romantic relationship with his sister. And when Noguchi's father, another renowned researcher, told him to stop seeing her, the professor injected him with poison and unalived him. 
This left his twin sister in a state of deep depression, which eventually led to her ending her own life. In the wake of her death, the professor became even more interested in experimenting with corpses, in hopes to bring his sister back and hopefully have a child with her. As time is running out before the lab self-destructs, Nei and Takeshi leave Noguchi and the professor behind, as they both realize that it's truly the end of their horrific experiments. Nei and Takeshi and the rest of the workers escape just in time as the building explodes. In the aftermath, the news media goes crazy after they discover the lab was behind the disappearing corpses in town. Along with this revelation, we had also learned how the military wanted to use the mold virus as a weapon for more control, but the professor was unwilling to give it to them, most likely due to the fact that he had no interest in military affairs and only had a desire to bring his sister back. The manga ends with a time skip, where we see Nei talking to her mom on the phone about meeting with Takeshi, putting a hand on her pregnant belly and thinking about how giving birth to new life is the natural way of being, and senses that there are two children inside of her. The story of Partner is one of life, loss, and tragedy. After finishing this manga, it took me a while to process everything that happened. I absolutely love the message at the end, how it's best to enjoy nature for what it is rather than trying to play God and go against the natural order of the world, which seemed to be the professor's ultimate goal in the end. For my analysis, I am mostly going to focus on the professor as I feel he is the most important figure of the entire story. While the true identity of the professor is revealed pretty early on in the series, I felt that the symbol he used to conceal his identity in the beginning was significant. What does this symbol make you think of? When I first saw it, what immediately came to mind was the yin and yang symbol. This symbol is of Chinese origin, but can be seen throughout pop culture in many parts of the world. The symbol essentially means that the world is made up of opposite forces that are interconnected and interdependent on one another. The symbol used by the professor is almost like a modified version of the yin yang symbol, as it includes facial features as well. Because the yin-yang symbol represents the interconnectedness between opposites, I think that this fits perfectly with the character of the professor. If we base the professor's personality solely on his exterior, we would think he is a docile and caring individual. However, the professor has an intense dark side that is plagued by his genius that is borderline madness, which leads him to performing experiments rooted in his personal desires. However, there is more to the professor's inner self than just his madness. Despite the immoral nature of the relationship, I do believe the feelings of love that he had for his sister were genuine, as it shows in his passion for LSP research. The symbol used on the monitors to represent him, that is reminiscent of the yin yang symbol, is supposed to represent the intensity of the professor's dual nature. His cruelty in his experiments coincides with his passion and love for his deceased sister which I think is represented by his initial appearance, exemplifying not only the professor's duality, but foreshadows how the two sides of himself play off each other during the series. There could be an argument given that this idea of duality plays into the concept of twins, which is a major theme in the manga as every main character is a twin. The best example of this is the differences between Takeshi and Ken. Both Takeshi and Ken have similar responses to the situation they were put in, but ultimately they made different decisions during the story. Takeshi's desire to escape and get revenge never wavered, while Ken gave in to his desire to reconnect with the deceased Mo, even though it would lead to his downfall. This is another theme that is subtly presented throughout Partner, the idea that in life we often have to choose between two or more very difficult decisions. Sometimes the consequences of these decisions aren't always clear, but Partner demonstrates that the selfish path usually leads to destruction and devastation. We see this with both Ken and the Professor especially. The Professor was so consumed with bringing his deceased sister back to life that he did some of the most horrific crimes against humanity in the name of love, while Ken willingly gave up his life in the most tragic way possible because of the situation with Mo. Overall, the main themes explored throughout Partner feel very human and true to life. The duality of humankind and the importance of embracing and appreciating nature are the biggest themes throughout the manga. I think the most important character of the story was the professor, as he is the embodiment of all these main themes, but they were also touched on with the twins and other existing characters as well. The choices we make in life are very important, and we have a constant choice between embracing either the lighter or darker sides of ourselves.
Partner is a deeply compelling manga and one of the darkest I've ever read within the shoujo genre. I highly recommend checking this one out for yourself as I left a few details from the manga out of this video in hopes that people who did watch the spoiler section give it a read on their own if they haven't already to experience the moments I didn't discuss. It's a beautiful yet tragic story that conveys some of the deepest truths of humanity in a very raw and emotional way. Also, for fans of Kadocha watching this video, it definitely has the same powerful style of writing, with a good balance of suspense and romance. Please check it out if you haven't already, and I'd like to give a shout out to the fan translators, as this manga has no official English release, and they did an amazing job. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this in the future. See ya!